Hey guys, Justin again over here at Kendall Bronco Club. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Outer Banks Bronco and maybe who it's for and who it's not. Uh, so if we look on the front of this vehicle, it sets itself apart a little bit from the rest of the lineup. The most noticeable part on the Outer Banks and the only version of the Bronco that comes with a painted fender flare is the Outer Banks model. The Outer Banks is also the most customizable of any of the lineup. It has the most options from a relatively mild price point and get it all the way up to the very, very top end. Uh, one thing on the front grill is a gloss black. It has large openings in the front and the headlights on an Outer Banks. This is the first level where they become standard as the signature headlights. Front bumpers, two different options on this one. It is a ABS plastic bumper uh, with included uh, fog lights on it. Tow hooks are located up underneath. And then the bash plate underneath uh, is also a composite material. The side of the vehicle, we can notice over here, painted mirror cap, and we have painted door handles, three different four wheel drive systems, two different suspension options on this vehicle, two different engine options on this vehicle. Again, it's one of these that you can really customize, pick and choose what you want. Uh, and only pay for the options that you actually need. So this one is a standard option here with a 32 inch tire and an 18 inch wheel. Again, this is the only version of the Bronco that comes with an 18 inch wheel. All the rest of them are 17s. Okay, so we talked a little bit about what sets the, the Outer Banks apart from the rest of the models. Now, who is this one for? This vehicle is best set up for your mild off-roader, your weekend camper, your weekend warrior, or somebody that wants the aesthetics of the vehicle without maybe necessarily having the most hardcore off-road rock crawling type vehicle. It has obviously the same power, the same transmission, same gear ratios, all those sorts of things that the uh, the Wild Track or the Badlands, one of these would have uh, without the, the price tag there associated. The next step up would add a little bit more off road prowess and then obviously a Sasquatch package would give it full on ability to be uh, a little bit more aggressive out there in the wild. There's a lot of different options that you can choose from and you can pick and choose. Maybe I want fuel economy, maybe I want more power, maybe I need towing capability, whatever. We can really customize this one. This one has all of the amenities you can get in the rest of them so you can get heated steering wheel, adaptive cruise control, navigation. So obviously we talked about how customizable this vehicle is, different options, different engines, all that sort of thing. So we can really fit a lot of different people's needs, a lot of different demographics for this specific vehicle. You know, they, they started at a lower price point and still give you the functionality powertrain wise of this vehicle. There are a couple more basic ones like a Black Diamond or Big Bend. The other person this one's not for is the guy that's, he's gonna go race the Baja 1000 next weekend. He's gonna go rock crawling in the most extreme conditions, that sort of use for this vehicle, it's the wrong one. Uh, when you when you equip it the same way as one of those, the price difference isn't dramatic. So if you're gonna use it in that capacity, one of the other models like a Badlands or a Wild Trek might be more suited to your needs. However, this vehicle, you know, it still has the, the ability to do those sorts of things and what 99% of us are ever gonna use our Broncos for, this one is more than capable of accomplishing those sorts of things. But really, that's the only person that this vehicle doesn't fit. Uh, is, is that, you know, extreme one end or possibly you know we're trying to fit it into a into a price point that this one sometimes is unable to reach if you've taken the time today to enjoy this video please feel free to click the like or subscribe button if you turn on notifications it'll let you know uh, when more videos like this come out and the rest of this series obviously you're always welcome to come visit us here in person we're located at 178 East Overland Road at Meridian, so we're at the corners of Meridian Road and Overland, right here, right off the freeway. Kendall, let's start something great.